Hey, Fred, let me check my computer out here. Okay. Just make sure my sound is up. Bring it up. You got anything? No. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not getting any sound. Hold on. Hold on, Robin. I'm working on my computer. I got some and you wonder why you get nothing but computer gifts <laughs> on your birthday. Why? Because I'm always with the computer? <laughs> Fred, you got my sound turned up? I do have it turned up. I give you the right plug. Did you give me the right plug? I'm, I'm plugged in. My, my laptop, you know, I control the sounds for the show out of my laptop, Robin. You do? I didn't know that. Hmm. I don't have to tell you everything. <laughs> what does Fred do? Fred? Fred's a loser. <laughs> right. Let me see. Let me try it again, Fred. Here, you ready? Okay. Go ahead. Warning! 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 No. That's not on. Yeah. Mm. It's not through the board, anyway. Come on, Fred. I got the pasta. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Scott, how come I'm not getting any sound? I got the pots up on here. Do I have to switch uh -oh. the switch? Here comes Scott. Oh, boy. <laughs> check the, uh... Let me check the, uh... Mm. The potentiometer <laughs> over here. Uh, <laughs> in, in here like a snail. Yeah. Oh, he needs see. to go out and smoke uh, on uh, it now. The, <laughs> He'll uh, come back with the answer. I have to check the DI and, uh... <laughs> see uh, the module 3 and... <laughs> and the, I put it into my headphone jack on my computer. See the... Uh, right? Yeah, that yeah. should be the place. That should do That's it, right? You always put it in, right? Yeah, I think so. And now why isn't it working? Is there another output on that? There's another output. Uh, uh, put on. it into the particle accelerator and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's the, that's the output. Is there a level control for the... Uh, mm, uh, yeah, the but I've got level. Uh, Look, here. We can hear warning, it. Warning, warning, warning. Eh? Uh, then I'm stumped. <laughs> Fred, you just said it all. <laughs> you really stumped? You can't help me out? I've, uh, well, uh, hmm, <laughs> see, uh, uh, hmm. All right, forget uh, it. Could be a broken lead, uh, Might not be worth uh, it. Could be a, uh, I had a bunch of cool sounds from Lost in Space I was going to use on the show today, but some guy sent them to me, and I loaded them into my computer, but... When was the last time you plugged in? Uh, a couple of weeks ago. I haven't been doing it for a while. Yeah, they forgot how to do it. Yeah. If you don't do something for a few weeks, everyone <laughs> assumes you're done with it. It might have been pulled. Yeah, the connections might have been cool pulled. That that wouldn't you know, that wouldn't surprise me. We should at this point have our own separate studio, but as I mean, don't forget we do a TV show out of here and we do a radio show. We should just be doing this from somewhere else. Yeah, because this is now ridiculous. I see Scott over here. He's crawling under the equipment. Is he cracking you a smile? <laughs> Looking for things. Every time Scott fixes stuff, Robin gets a full view of Scott's ass. Like just the big moon. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, stop tucking admire, it in admire now. Admire my crack. <laughs> mm. My crack, my secret crack. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes into it, he decides to tuck <laughs> to away. To cover up that crack. My crevasse. Yeah, we've all seen it. My crevasse. My hairy crevasse. You should smoke out of it. <laughs> you ever try to smoke out of it? Believe me, I've tried. <laughs> my fleshy Grand Canyon. <laughs> you know, I'm worried about uh, my lungs, so I thought I'd smoke through my crack. <laughs> that's, a, that's a virgin orifice. <laughs> No cancer there. Boy, when you have to cough. <laughs> let's, let's take a cigarette. Sometimes I smoke with my mouth and use chewing tobacco with my crack. <laughs> you have to see the spit. Actually, it's a good storage space back there. I store my chewing tobacco. <laughs> and extra fuses. Did you ever chew tobacco? No. Not into Oh, no. That's I disgusting. eat it. That's not cool. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to ask no. you a nutty question like that. <laughs> Scott, Scott is the funniest guy because he wears pants that are way too low. Yeah, on his and they're hips. always hung low. Yeah, fat guys do that. Well, he has no ass either. Yeah, and he has no ass. So then when he starts fixing stuff, he, he bends over and he's got his big ass right in Robin's face. <laughs> it's my Debbie Tay look. <laughs> I like to show my crack. <laughs> And he always acts like he's surprised, like he doesn't know. You can't feel the air <laughs> rushing in. And you see how quiet he is now? Mm -hmm. That's how he is on Prodigy on the chat line. <laughs> <laughs> Guys goof on him and he just, just sits there. <laughs> <laughs> you have, what's it like to have absolutely no comeback? <laughs> Everybody's like typing That's stuff. That's the to idea. Goof on him and he doesn't type back. I Nothing. Type. He can't. He Come can't on, do it I fast type enough. Back. I type back. He knows. Guys that. goof on me. He goes, who is this goofing on me? He just starts screaming. Uh -uh. <laughs>
Uh, well, Scott, I, I love it here. Amateurs goofing on you. I type faster, but it interferes with my smoking time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I can't type and light up at the same time. Right. <laughs> Do you sit there at the keyboard with a cigarette in your mouth? What else would I be doing? <laughs> of course he smokes. He smokes and types at the same time. Uh. <laughs> That's why he likes Prodigy, because he doesn't have to waste time talking. That takes up cigarette it smoke time. It doesn't interfere. Right. Mm-hmm. You can smoke and type and communicate at the same time. <laughs> it's a perfect marriage. It's a perfect thing. So you can't get my sounds up? No. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Too bad. I was had my heart set on it. It's probably disconnected. They'll have to reconnect it. Yeah, probably a real engineer could fix it. How difficult yeah. can it be? Well, it's Jackie, Scott we want to go fix it? Where it was go ahead. Fix it. I bet you Jackie can fix it That's in two probably. seconds. Oh, yeah. Jackie knows all about this stuff. I... Jackie, see if you can just figure out why the link to my computer isn't working properly. Let's try something. Let me try something. Now, where does the wire go? Where's go? the input this, wire? That's the problem. Is there a headphone volume, Howard? I already asked uh, him that. Yes. Uh, Turn your headphone uh, volume yes, up. Uh, yeah, but it's there because you can hear it. Listen. Yes. That's yeah, it's the same thing. There's no like real headphone volume. It's just yeah, the, it's just the volume yeah. of the machine. Because usually when you plug in a headphone, doesn't that kill that volume? It should. Mm, uh, yeah, it but should. yeah, yeah. That watch, watch. It does. Watch. And it does. Right? Oh, and it does. Yeah. So that link. See is that fine. wires. Unless it Come on, Jackie, you fix it. it Let's prove how bad an engineer Scott is. It's hardwired right into the board. If Jackie, if Jackie oh, fixes it, Scott, will you resign as my engineer? Into which? <laughs> Where is the hard wire going? This wire going. Uh oh, Scott's going back over there. He, he's afraid Jackie will take his Is job. This the wire, yeah. Scott? Look, Jackie's already almost got it fixed, and Scott's getting nervous, so We're he's running verge. over. We're what? We're on the verge. All right, go ahead. No. See how Jackie even moves around yeah, looking for a problem? Scott yeah, just sat here. Uh, wait, I hear it. Anyway. No, that's nothing. That's nothing. Wait, I just heard something. But something popped. Try it again. I bet you Jackie's going to fix it. Nothing you see how Jackie moves around, Scott? That's what you got to do. Well, Scott never touched the wire to see where it was going or anything. He just sat yeah. there by Fred and mm. went... Okay. Can I smoke I while I do it. this? Oh, look at that. Scott Scott totally pushed Jackie away. Well, I, Get out I, of the I was looking at his crack. <laughs> Scott, why? I asked Jackie to fix it. You already had your turn. Why are you there again? Why are you... Suddenly now Jackie can't get in there to fix it. It's like being in a walrus cage. <laughs> Sit down while Jackie Where's fixes it. Going, it? <laughs> Did you see that move? Where's the one? I knew he couldn't stay in that chair so. as soon as somebody else might Fred be able to one. fix it. He's this really afraid Jackie into, can. Yeah. See, they tie everything together. Scott, do you ever talk? It's nothing. No? No. This yeah. is like on Prodigy. What is the purpose of talking in this room? I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's only radio. We're doing a radio show. He's like, what's what the purpose the of purpose? talking? So people know you're here. <laughs> yeah. Dope. <laughs> What do you mean, what's the purpose? You, Getting ratings and then the station gets all advertising. You do a great job of making them aware that I am here. Right. Okay. Why do I need to talk? <laughs> Fred has much better things to say. Right. <laughs> all right, guys. Forget it. Scott's job is safe. See, Fred doesn't know which wire it is. Well, cause you gotta Scott get, won't even tell him. They gotta I just told him. It goes right into the board. There's no plugs, nothing. It goes directly in. What do it's you mean? soldered in. The Fred's soldered board? In. Yes. Soldered in, yes. How soldered. come everything around here breaks down after two weeks of using it? I really couldn't tell you that. Oh, you can't tell me that? Well, I could tell you that. All right, tell me why. You know what this is? studio it's gets so much like use, like right? Wires. And people it's just trample on through it. I mean, you know, it's just... And all the wires are exposed. Right. Well, that... Yeah, in other words, nothing's covered up and concealed. Well, that wire's all the way in the corner. I don't know how anybody could possibly yank on that one. So you're saying then that your theory is all wrong. But they do it. I mean, the wire's are exposed, but they, they get to it. What? You're saying... That, wait a second. Let me back up. You're saying that the reason everything gets screwed up in here is because all the wires are exposed and people trample all over it, but then in the same breath you're saying that this one wire that I use to link to my computer is it's completely not. hidden away. There's such abuse, right, that... That they get the things that they shouldn't even get to. All right. <laughs> Got me now? No. I need okay. a cigarette. <laughs> you need a cigarette. This is way too complicated I'm looking at, at Scott's lips. He's got, like, all brown from cigarettes on his lips. What? It's all brown stuff. I see that? Coffee. Is that what that is? Coffee? It's oh, another coffee. healthy product. It looks like you could peel it off. That's not coffee. Coffee doesn't stain your lips like that. Well, if you drink 900 quarts of it, it does. Uh. <laughs> Never heard of coffee stains <laughs> yeah. on somebody's lips. So the, I don't know, I man. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in Scott's face. Yeah. So the wire goes right into the wire board. Goes, oh, the, okay. The wire goes into the board over there. You see, and then in the real stats and uh, <laughs> thing, and uh, you know, it's uh, very complicated. I'm pl- 
ate it. <laughs> so you going to the Super Bowl party? Or your wife yell at you about that? Uh, no yeah, comment. Did you try to rearrange your schedule? I'm still working on it. Oh, yeah. Boy. Playing cards? Are you playing cards? We're going to play cards after the Super Bowl party. Well, See, all of a sudden he can play cards. No. no, they're playing cards in the city, and I don't know if I'll be able to get back. Let me check this out, Robin. I'm working on it. Hmm. What are you trying to punch? Maybe it's my computer. Maybe it's the computer. See, I told you it was a beak. Hmm. You sure there's not a headphone vibe? Well, you know what you can do. Are you sure you're in the right jack? There could be a couple different jacks. No, I'm in the right jack. What do you think, I'm stupid? Hey, Jackie. I'm in the right Jackie. Let's see. <laughs> Nothing there. Huh, maybe it's me. See, I told you. All right, I'll work on this during the commercial. Ah, oh, uh, you're the problem. No, oh, I've been vindicated. I'm no, I'm not. <laughs> I, I, there's, something's going on here. Yeah, I knew it. Anyway, want to talk about the OJ trial? Sure, why not? Are, you done, you, are we done goofing on Scott? Never. I'll, I'll talk about the OJ trial. <laughs> talk you want to talk about it? Oh, you got something to say? Anything no, to get off the Super Bowl party. <laughs> What do you think Scott's like in bed? Oh, please. Oh, come on. Just like he was fixing that <laughs> wire. Barely moved. He just stood there and looked. <laughs> yeah, and bends over and shows everyone his crack. That's <laughs> it. Go. Honey, take a look at my crack. It'll uh, get turned on. Uh, full play. I'm going to bend over. Yeah. <laughs> Observe the mighty crack. <laughs> Are you hot yet? It has healing powers. <laughs> It'll cripple you if you Look get too close. Look into my crack. <laughs> you are getting sleepy. That's a hell of a view for a woman. <laughs> Beautiful. See that? Beautiful. Do you ever like walk around the house naked, like you know, like in the bedroom? In all my hairy yeah. glory. <laughs> <laughs> all the hair, a big belly. Look like Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. His wife gets a shot of that tuchus. She oh, can't be too turned on. She leaves the room. <laughs> you can't blame her. We have a good time. Do you? Yeah. All she right. calls me her baboon of love. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Good for you. Yes. <laughs> we love a little, we smoke a little. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys light up the second you're done? No. During. Come on. Come during. on, Scott. <laughs> Yeah, during, right? You light up right away, right? <laughs> Come on, be honest. A couple of minutes after. Yeah. I light my matches on her back. <laughs> <laughs> you got the cigarette sitting by the bed waiting for them. Yeah, right, the packs. I laying bet you, you <laughs> matches are all off. I bet you they light up before, so it's oh. burning when they're done. Yeah, right, no, no downtime. It's ready. <laughs> do you have to? Do, do you guys smoke the same brand, or you each have yes. your own packs same in the brand. bedroom? Same brand. Oh, so whoever has their pack with them. Same brand, separate packs. <laughs> do you ever do that thing where you light two cigarettes? <laughs> I bet you he does. No, no, I don't like two cigarettes. I bet you he gets two of them in his mouth and lights them. You know, he's like an expert smoker. No, I don't do that. Let me show off a little. <laughs> Before we have sex, I put one on the coffee table, one on the head post, and one on my hand. I'm never that far away from a cigarette. <laughs> I hope this is as funny to the audience as it is to me. You just see him lying back yeah. with, with the ashtray on his belly. Yeah. Puffing away. His wife says, hey, come on, light up some cigarettes. And Scott has the two in his mouth. And, Lights one for her. Yeah, and the, and the ashtray is on his belly. So they have to sh share the communal ashtray on Scott's stomach. Were you there last night? <laughs> I bet you you're pretty close. And imagine poor Scott's wife by the door waiting for her man to come through the door. You know, with his cigarettes. His oh, pack. come on. I got a full pack. <laughs> Honey, I'm coming home with a cotton. <laughs> Honey, if we're going to make love in the bedroom, uh, we could use my pack. <laughs> you don't need to bring extra cigarettes. <laughs> cigarettes on me. <laughs> Let's try a different kind of sex tonight. <laughs> with cigarette holders. <laughs> <laughs> it's so continental. <laughs> Let's go wild and rip off the filter. smoke. <laughs> so you like that OJ trial, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so your wife's going to let you go to the Super Bowl party? Uh, no. Yeah, she would let me go, but I have yeah. personal plans that I have to take care of. Did I'm you ever find out what his personal plans no, are? No, he's not telling me. I'm trying to change them. So. Going to the doctor for my physical... Food shopping. Uh, food shopping. Yeah. Food no, shopping. cigarette shopping. Excuse me. What do you, well, how do you purchase cigarettes? Do you, go, you go to the carton mm -hmm. and you get them where? At the supermarket? 
I go to tobacco Sometimes auctions you. and bid. <laughs> <laughs> I go straight down south every weekend. We go to Virginia. I buy them by the truck. We actually buy, we purchase our own tobacco leaves <laughs> and I'll have them an rolled. I'll take an acre of tobacco and a bale of paper. Can we follow you with the e-camera when you go cigarette shopping? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Do you try to get the best price, or do you carry coupons? Or yeah, what? like you know, you have a special place that has cheaper cigarettes than anywhere else, oh, right? About the same. Yeah. What's it? What's it a carton now? Uh, Twenty-two bucks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and how long does that carton last? Half an hour. Come on. <laughs> how long does the carton last? That's a good question. Jackie was right. <laughs> if you're smoking two and a half packs a day, and your wife is smoking, yeah, it probably lasts three days. <sighs> So how many cartons is that a week? It's like two. Two and, and a half. half. Two and a half cartons a week. That's about fifty dollars a week. Mm. More. Fifty, sixty a week. Yeah. Only, uh, and you know he's lying. He's downplaying it a little. So it's probably about a hundred a week. Yeah. Five grand a year. Yeah. Ugh. So his kid could have gone to college, but instead. Five grand a year. Up in smoke. Okay, I just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go down to Virginia and go to the tobacco auction? Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Good. I Can you imagine? Yeah. He gets home with that truck of cigarettes, and they sit there and smoke the whole oh, yeah. bunch right I'm away. Like, where do you keep your cartons? <laughs> I'll think like, right now. Let's go. I think I'll go right now. I'm going to go right now. <laughs> Build a silo in my backyard and keep the Becky in it. Where do you keep the cartons? Seriously, where in the house are the cartons kept? Um, That's got to be a pretty important place. Strapped to my forearms. <laughs> got to be convenient. <laughs> I bet you those cartons don't get stuck behind anything. They're right. usually uh, kept in my office. Oh, you have an office in your house? Of course, for Rocket well, well, Entertainment. And your I mean, wife you know. doesn't mind that the cartons are all kept in your office? Shouldn't they be a communal Car spot where they're equally accessible? Well, she, she has her cigarettes, I have mine. She can get to them. Mm. In fact, I'm saving the rally coupons. Uh, <laughs> could use them toward a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Who gets the coupon? Right, I understand. The, the lawyers take the rally coupons. <laughs> I'm using my cottons to build a summer home. <laughs> the actual cardboard can be used as a double big, insulation. I have a, I have a Chesterfield condo in Montauk. <laughs> Saving the packs to make clothes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So far, it's an 80-room mansion <laughs> made out of cigarette cartons. Vanderbilt got nothing thing. on me. Yeah. He's, he's entering one of those inquirer contests. F you, Gloria Vanderbilt. <laughs> I'm a smoky Rockefeller. <laughs> Three billion cartons. Right. <laughs> I almost forgot what this was like. Right. It's like riding a bicycle. Yeah. 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 I'm moving out to God. Cancer Hamptons. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going on? I mean, where do you keep the cartons in your office? Yeah. And like, where? How many cartons are stored up there at a There's time? There's no cartons stored. We no. I mean, buy one. We finish. You it. only buy one. You at buy a one time? carton at a time. Yeah. You won't buy like twelve cartons and have them stocked up. No. I like to live on the edge. <laughs> See, yeah. you every couple of days you're in a store buying another. See, carton. that'd be admitting he had a habit. I never know where my next cotton is coming from. <laughs> There's a certain excitement. You figured you'd buy 10 and not have to run to the store well, all the Scott, time. You know you're going to be smoking. Scott probably likes his cigarettes fresh. He thinks they'll be fresher if he buys new sure. cartons. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, not sitting on the shelf in the store. No. <laughs> Why would you, so you have to go shopping like almost every other day for cigarettes. Why wouldn't you just make sure at least you had a, a two-week supply? I'm always fascinated they don't have by storage room. I know when I smoked, <laughs> right. it was like always I had to plan out where you know where yeah, my you packs gotta, and right be yeah. around some place that sells cigarettes. Yeah, like I stopped smoking, I can't even find matches in my house. <laughs> but like when you're a smoker, you always have a, a deep supply of matches. Oh, and... I didn't tell you about the day I was looking for a match, and I went to Scott and I said I need something to light something. And he pulled out a box full right. of lighters. He had seven different ways seven. of lighting. No, you he know. Had Wait like a minute. 24 why, did, right. why don't we tell yeah. the truth here? He actually had he had multiple ways of yeah. lighting Different things. colors, but, you know, all of them I were lighter, lighters. I have the match. I have the flint. I have <laughs> the stick prefer? like your Boy Scouts light up in fires. Excuse me, Robin. Did you say you need a light? <laughs> uh, she got it. Hmm. Well, first we could start by rubbing two pencils together. <laughs> yeah. Or I could show you a Bic lighter, which is state-of-the-art technology and disposable. <laughs> <laughs> or if we one, could... Well, you want to come in the back? I have my acetylene torch. <laughs> <laughs> I was amazed. We've turned my children's sandbox into a huge ashtray. <laughs> it's full of cigarette butts. Oh, oh. I once put sulfur on my son's head and lit him. <laughs> <laughs> I was desperate for a smoke. <laughs> It'll only burn for a little while, son. <laughs> so you'll be like me, no hair. <laughs> That's how I lost mine.
My father used to light me as a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying? You, I'm saying that... You got a disturbing brown thing on your lip. I do. What is that? I don't know. I, I have My personal it. tumor. Where? You're growing a tumor. Look, hey, come on, Jackie, look at his lip. You're close. That little brown speck? You see it, Jackie? Yeah, it's 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 a growth of some kind. Ugh. It's like a swollenness. It's, it's from I think I think I think the cigarette is that the side you smoke out of? You know what it, it actually looks like, Howard? Uh, you know what, what it actually looks like in the middle? It looks like he smoked it down so far Wait, that it actually burned, burned, his, burned his lips. Yeah, he right? did something. I haven't burned myself. Maybe he put it in his mouth the wrong end <laughs> I first. Oh, my nicotine callus. I think after 25 years of smoking, I'm a professional smoker. You and don't I don't burn yourself. I don't burn point. myself. I take a lot of pride That's in myself. Right. That's right. Never. That's right. I never put the wrong end in. I never put the wrong end in. Never light the wrong end and hmm. put it in. <laughs> you know, I tried hypnosis. <laughs> Now the hypnotist is up to five packs a day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scott's such a smoker. He makes other people smoke. I can't stand it. My own hypnotist <laughs> turned well, traitor. You are getting smoky. <laughs> <laughs> people bring him their old nicotine patches and he fills them up. Uh, Look into my filter tip. <laughs> So I don't understand something. Explain to me why you wouldn't buy more than one carton at a time. I don't know. I just... I, I, Never do it. No. You're afraid that you would I'm smoke more if you had the packs around. No. No. I, that's the way I've done it. I don't... You know. What? Yeah, I mean, but it, like, doesn't it annoy you that you have to go to the store every day and get a carton? I don't go every day. Every it's other like, day? Not every other well, day. Well, according to what you say, you it's smoke. Like twice a week. We're going over to Scott's studio to see how many cigarettes he had this morning. Now, look at this. He left a cigarette burning in his ashtray when he went into the studio. And what he usually does is, he usually dumps all his ashes in the garbage right before he goes in the studio because he knows we come in here. So if you see right over there, look at all the cigarettes. I think his cigarettes are hidden in this cabinet usually. Just gotta find them. I don't want to. He might, he might hide them in his duffel bag, but usually they're in here. I don't see them anymore. This could be another good hiding spot for Scott's cigarettes. Maybe he's just due for another uh, he could He could be out, and sometimes he'll send the interns out to get him cigarettes because he doesn't want people to know that he's buying so many cigarettes, so he'll send the interns out. I don't even, I don't even see his pack lying around. How would you describe the air quality in here? It's, it, the air quality in here is so thick. It's filled with smoke. Do you ever go into a crowded bar that's filled with smoke? It's exactly what's going into this room is like. It's just you walk out and you reek of smoke. Should I bring this ashtray in and just show that he left yeah. the cigarettes broken? Yeah. <laughs> Lift it, burn it. What is that? Ah! Look, Ganji has something. What is that? He, I just want to show you that he left the cigarette smoking when he went in here. Yeah. Just in case I got back quick. And the oh. garbage pail, because what he does is, his move is, he dumps all the cigarettes out in the garbage right, right before he comes in the studio, because he knows we run in there and grab his ashtray. Yeah. So if you look in the garbage, there's like there's like 50 cigarettes all scattered in the garbage. Yeah, that's right. So if you smoke that much, which Scott admittedly smokes, yeah. and his wife smokes, why would you buy one and a half, well, every one and a half days you have to buy a carton? I don't think he's telling us the truth. Yeah, how well, why would he lie? I'm telling you the truth. I don't understand the psychology of only buying... All right, so I'll go out and buy 10 cartons today. No, no, the I same just don't... as an alcoholic who can't really tell you how much he drinks. Yeah, but he's telling us how much he smokes. But he not, he's not telling us the truth I about sure... the cartons of cigarettes, I, I don't sh... think. Yes, why would you not buy... Like, if I was in a store and I'm a smoker right. and I know I'm going to smoke at least... I go to. Let's say I go to the supermarket once a week. Because mm -hmm. you don't go to the supermarket every day. Do no, you? Yeah. No. So, I, so if I know but I, I have go to the drugstore, if I know I run out of cigarettes every one and a half to two days, why wouldn't I pick up at least three cartons of cigarettes for the week? Yeah. How far down? Are does you he the have only one? Yeah. Like, at what point? Look, when do you start getting panicky? But is he the only one who left? who buys cigarettes? Maybe his wife is also buying cartons. Yes, but uh, then there's overlay time. <laughs> if I so buy a cotton, her cotton is full, or my cotton. I, I think I go on the premise of. 
Well, who buys most of the cigarettes? Here? You? Yeah. You're in charge of making sure the house is stocked with cigarettes. I'm the cigarette correct. winner of my family. <laughs> you know, that is correct. You're the breadwinner. I'm the cigarette winner. I bring home the cigarettes. So if let's say it's running low and your wife sees that there's no cigarettes in the house, does she go, hey, Scott? Or I'll tell her, you know, if I, don't, if I know I'm not going to have a chance, I'll say pick up some cigarettes. Right. Okay. So, so this is a constant thing. So it's constantly going on every one and a half days that you have to sit there and go, we're running low on cigarettes. Yeah. Or she says we're running low on cigarettes. Well, well, Instead we, of saying, hey, for the week, mm. before, you know. And why would you want to take care of that? Sure. If you, did your wife do most of the food shopping? Yes. So when she goes to the supermarket, why doesn't she once a week pick up four cartons of cigarettes? Psychologically, do you feel like you're spending that, less money that, if you just. Yes. Oh, I think is it's that what it is? It's the money. It's the money. Yeah. So you don't want to lay out. I don't out. lay out $100. I lay out $20. It seems is like it, less right, of a exactly. habit. Cigarettes on the installment. Probably late. So probably, why didn't you tell bought, me that? If I bought four cartons. Did, a week, you mean, am I the first person to point that out? No. If I bought four cartons at one time, I'd probably stop and say, what am I spending so much money for? Right. You know? So, in other words, you feel like it's not as expensive. Right. Can you imagine that is scene? totally stupid? Can you imagine well, like a he's Friday still night? In the same amount of money. Right. I, I, right. I understand that. Like a Friday night. See, he wouldn't admit it to us. I had a hit on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it made me spend an hour trying to drag that little bit of information out of him. Yeah, cut me. You cut me, oh, Kim. Well, I knew there was something wrong with the story. Yeah. If I only buy one carton at a time, it doesn't seem like such a big habit. Can you imagine your wife goes to the store, you know, and you usually get one of those big baskets full yeah. of groceries, and that's a like hundred, hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. And then if you put four cartons of cigarettes, that's two hundred fifty dollars. It matches your food. <laughs> Brings it up to a thousand. Amazing. <laughs> Made in a mortgage. But imagine how many times I had the scene where he gets home and he and thought she was low. buying them. Right. And she thought he was buying them. And they're dangerously and low. And somebody has none. to run out. Right. Uh -oh. Scott's you, Scott's so funny because like he nothing's more important to him than his kid, you know. Right, and oh, you know, nothing's more important than his cigarettes, cigarettes and his kid. Right. So John for Christmas bought Scott uh, tickets to see the Knicks so he could take his kid. Right. And I guess they had a really good time. Right. So John said to Scott, "I will." Give you like I can get you courtside seats for you and your kid because Scott's kid had such a great time. Right, courtside seats for you and your kid. I'll get you like two or three times if you just quit smoking. Right, Scott couldn't do it. Wow, no. I didn't say I couldn't do it. I will do it. When? When? The season's gonna Why be over. Why don't you do it? No, the season's not gonna be over. And I told we, John. John what do you mean? I, you're gonna extend the season for you yeah, and your yeah, son? Right. Yeah. He's yeah. hoping for a strike. Yeah. Yeah. God forbid they get into the playoffs. Well, what's he gonna do? Just quit for that period of time? <laughs> exactly. No, I, I'm gonna. Me and my wife plan on stopping very. Do you short. realize how many times you've quit since you've been on the show? A lot. How many? About three times. No, I'd oh. say about, <laughs> about no, twenty-three those, times. Those are three that you've probably gone more than a week. That was three last year. I can't quit. I love it. You've I love the smell. Program. I love everything. You've done everything. I love the French curl. And boy, does he get vicious, though. When he <laughs> yeah. quits smoking, he's I impossible know. to work with. You have to do that thing like they did with... Uh, uh, where you you could have courtside seats for you and your son, and you didn't do it? No, 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 no. J the deal is... What? John, John's supposed to show me the tickets, and those are supposed to be my... Uh, incentive. Incentive. Uh, that is correct. Uh, mm. When I see those tickets... Yeah. I'll no stop. tickets? That's no, no stopping. stopping right. Man, I'm not stopping if I don't get tickets. I'm not going to be buffaloed. You to cut, you're going to have to cut like Scott's wife's fingers off. It's the only way to get him to quit. I know. <laughs> no, you have to be threatened. We're both going to stop at the same time. This way we can kill each other. Right. All right, very good. <laughs> All right, Scott. Another fascinating Just glimpse. Just warn us when you do. <clears throat> okay. Another fascinating glimpse into Scott the Engineer's cigarette habit. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If you got him, smoke him. <laughs> you, see, you think that Scott gets befuddled now while he's smoking. You know, right. you go back there and you give him two jobs, he loses it. Yeah. When he's not smoking. He's a mess. Any job. I don't want the interns talking back to me. <laughs> <laughs> he starts throwing things. People oh. can't come into the room. I need to calm down. Where's my cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> and eventually hookah? that ashtray comes back out. Oh, I just if I could smoke, I could calm myself down. Mm. <laughs> and then you say to him, how many days has it been, Scott? Well, it's been two days. I swear to God. Uh, God, hours, God, gave me, God gave me no internal register how to calm myself down. I have to do it through my cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the third day, he already tells you, well, I did break down and smoke one. Hey, Scott, <laughs> describe a puff. Is the whole it, thing. Describe the whole thing. And you light it up. I mean, if you really want one, you know. It's like he's talking about sex. Yeah, yeah go that's ahead. right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, I'll you, tell you. Go ahead, describe go it. Go on, if you really want uh, one. Uh, <laughs> you light its thin little body on fire. Uh, For, pull, talk about pulling it out of the pack. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. All right, right. You know what? I've had enough of his cigarettes. You'll we got to talk about OJ. We got a million things to do, and I got to get my computer working. So let's take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Hey, Scott. How's it going? 
What is that? It's an ashtray. See? So, Scott, are you going to quit smoking now? Not this minute, though, yet. You are? Scott, where do, you, where do you hide your cigarettes in here? They're not hidden. They're right there. No, you don't you have, like, a hidden stash? No. You don't have, like, a hidden stash of cigarettes in this room? No. How many packs do you, like, take with you a day, usually? Two. Two packs a day? Mm hmm You take with you to work? So, uh, are you going to the Super Bowl party or what? I don't know. How, when are you going to know? Hopefully today sometime. Do you want to go? Yeah. 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 Yeah? Yeah. Then what's, what's holding you back? I have personal plans that I have to change. So, as soon as I can arrange that, I, I will go. You sure? Possibly. If you know, I can, I don't know if I can change them. Very simple. All right, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott, does it bother you when they when they goof on you about smoking Genji, and stuff? You've been goofed on on other things. Does it bother you? Do you know how you feel? Yeah, sure. Sometimes it Some... does. Sometimes it doesn't. It's just part of the job. Is That's today it. one of those days? Definitely.